Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is the New School Republic Wrestling Podcast featuring Mr. Brandon Petrie, Mr. Chris Schultz, Thank you. and Alan, and my name is Phil Stillag, and I'm a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that. Listen, don't be soft. I love that. <laughs> Bro, <Very> nice. I, <laughs> yeah. Very nice. I love that. I'm I'm so glad that hey, I'm glad you guys can finally come oh, out and do this podcast. Oh this yeah. Time. I mean this is like it's we were always great, but now, but now we're like we're like AJ oh, Styles oh, up for now. We're phenomenal. phenomenal. We're phenomenal, oh, baby, yeah. yeah. All that. We so, tried. Thanks for having us. Right, well, Except we don't have the gloves. We're not wearing the gloves. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're podcasting. We don't we don't need the gloves. That's okay. So Why fluid being spilled tonight. <laughs> I invited 133 people. Yeah, uh, here we go. Here we. I kind of like that. I got five people said they were coming. I don't know. They could be filthy liars. <laughs> but hey, you know. We're live. Who knows what can happen? Anything can happen. Kevin, he's commenting on PW Pop. Uh, I'm on the page. I see nothing so far. We're okay. live. We're like Ric Flair in an airport. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Ric Flair. Yeah, in an let's airport. talk about that. Oh, I completely <laughs> forgot. You, you have to bring that up now. <clears throat> that, was this, that was this week. I just wanted to put that way out of my head. Well, what would happen? I, no one knows. It. He's Hello. just like probably drunk, hungover. I mean, I don't know what else. No one knows. No, the the police are saying he's not drunk. He wasn't drunk. Or first they're saying no, he injured his hand. The police, the cops are saying he injured his head. I heard he got an argument with someone over a selfie or something. Who really oh, asked for a selfie <clears throat> or something? Also, like Rick Fra- Rick Flair. Do you think he bladed bucks? himself? <laughs> Dude, I think if you if you look at him wrong, he's gonna blade himself. I mean, like you know, he just he bleeds like it's nothing. <laughs> The man's from North Carolina. You wake up with wine, and you wake up with a Bloody Mary. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you do in North Carolina. Yes, man, especially... We should give Michael Cole that line. When oh, yeah. He, he's from North Carolina. <laughs> really? I know, Michael Cole's from North Carolina. No, no, I don't know. Oh, my God, I was going to say. All right. I'm like, he did not seem like he was from North Carolina. He's from, I, I don't know where. I think he's from New York. Yeah, probably. Yeah. He, he's probably somewhere northeast. Yeah. No, like, he he went to Syracuse. Okay, that that explains a lot. So, like, yeah, yeah uh, Ric Flair. So, he was allowed on the flight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because... After, wait, I still don't want to understand this. What was the problem then? I don't see. There, he, he there was com- bleeding? Yeah, yeah. And I, there was conflicting reports about every... I mean, some people are saying he was acting blue. They're drunk, drunk, which... Honestly, that's kind of flair, like, when he's sober. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, I, mean, so I, I guess if he wasn't drunk, but, I mean... Because I'm like, he wouldn't get, like, smashed. I, he would. But, I mean, you'd, yeah. think, you'd think with his, <laughs> with now managing his daughter, he wouldn't do something like that to... Well, jeez, I hope not. Well, let's you face know. it, he's an elderly man. Um, unfortunately, we're all going to be there someday. Our parents are getting there. Isn't there some type of illness, medical illness, that actually duplicates the same symptoms of being drunk? It could be a... Um, um, I don't know, brain hemorrhage, tumor. Uh, it, it could be uh, genetic too. Or I mean, <laughs> you know, slight stroke. He, you know, it's all possible. Right. Yeah, and he has he has been having the same match. Yeah. You know, for the last thirty thirty five to forty years. Yeah. So and it, it always involves like taking the super D duper plex. Yeah. Figure four. We're just checking a technical difficulty. Yeah, are we not? Yeah, what's going on here? He just sees that. He doesn't. This is all he gets. He doesn't Phil and I were see the, trouble seeing you. The whole live I, I, I couldn't message you. <laughs> on our phone. Uh, on yeah. Periscope. Uh, we so were we trying. Get, yeah. Okay, I, I think it's I think it's set set now. Okay. So, does anyone want to send sending it, try sending us a message yeah, on Periscope? Yeah, well, I mean, there has to be something. Somebody else was talking about this too. That it's like not a public feed or something. I mean, people can't actually see it. Yeah, I'm gonna so we'll have to check it out. So we don't know really what happened with Ric Flair. He's probably being stupid, silly, and drunk, and then just a mess. Probably overexhausted too. I think. 
I don't even know it's really even worth talking about anymore. It's Ric Flair. He's not going to change. No. After like ten, yeah, ten it, wives. It's and... more bizarre. Like, the whole... <laughs> like, for a couple hours, there was like this weird, uh... Just this weird whole thing going on there. Pappy Flair. Well, you know what's going to happen. Well, here's something interesting I keep hearing, too. This Eric Young debuted on uh, NXT. Yes, oh, that's wow, that's big. big. It's huge. But see, every, people are like, nah, it's just TNA from uh, 2011, 12. They don't really care. I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag. I mean, paycheck-wise, it's a good move for him. Get the heck out of TNA. But, um... You no, know, it's... I'll, let me and see I, the computer. And, and, sure. and I heard Bobby Roode was backstage again, so... Yeah, I mean... He, he's going in the sign there, right? Well, he wouldn't be on TV. He wouldn't be doing like all that stuff if he wasn't signed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like you know, you know, like Abushi signed. Oh, uh, oh uh, yeah. I mean, like for sure, because you know that's how they operate. I mean, but I'm, but I mean, it's just once again Triple H is down there just stacking up the yeah, stacking up the talent, man. Getting good for him too, because that is like NXT is looking. Pretty awesome. It's looking pretty rad. Since I got the network, I've been I've been watching you in the past like three or four weeks episodes and stuff. I love I love the the way the show. It's match short little short yeah. short little interview match and I mean it. What you need I mean do. they they in in less than an hour they get four mat four matches in mm -hmm. and a couple yeah. little vignettes or. He's on a different cell service. I'm no, okay, okay that's not. <laughs> Man, nothing, everything goes goes wrong live. I mean, awesome. we're we're working on, and I completely missed this last that last message. So, you gotta find a way to make that bigger so we can put that perhaps on the computer so we can read it. <laughs> I'm thinking about bringing my Apple TV so we could put whatever's on my on my iPad on the TV. Oh, okay, yeah. Apple TV. Yeah. Wow. I Kurt magic. has one of those. You have magic. Man, I love my Apple TV, man. Hey, we got some people joining us. So, you know what I really liked was that backstage promo that uh, Eric Young cut. Yeah. That was just, like, rare, really interesting, you know? And that was Hey, what's going on? And that was so not like uh, Eric Young to do. Oh, know? yeah. And that was just, like, really just, like... He was serious, you know? He kind of shit that goofball, you know, Eric Young guy. Yeah. That Eric Young character from... From TNA. Yeah. Well, that's what they've been working on for, like, the past couple, I mean, almost six months to a year. He's been this crazy Rock psychopath. Rock versus Hulk Hogan, who wins? Well, we already know. Ooh, yeah, we, we already, already know. <laughs> Rock, I don't know, Rock Bottom versus Leg Drop and Elbow. No. I mean, it's interesting with this NXT, though, because it reminds me of the WCW NWO thing where, like, all these WWF guys are coming over, so now it's like all these TNA guys are coming did over. You, did you see that uh, tweet I retweeted where... Dixie's and ingenious plan of invading WWE yeah. is almost complete. I can't believe how dumb she is, though. I mean, literally, what an idiot. She, she, like, she, I mean, if these reports are true, she argues to like have total control of the company that she's running into the ground. It makes no sense to me. I would just swallow my you, pride. That's like that's like all the Canadian Football League players just suddenly jumping a ship and going to the NFL. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. How could you let? Like all your com all your assets go to the competitors. I mean, like don't forget, like TNA was supposed to. I mean, TNA, we'll we'll get the payback next uh, in a little bit. Yeah. But TNA was supposed to compete against WWE for the longest time, and like TNA was going to bring back the Monday Night Wars, and yeah. like that lasted for about a whole segment. I know. You know, and you can't bring Val Venus, the Nasty Boys. And like you know, Kennedy in there, and expect a miracle. Like they brought the wrong people in there. They just brought Hulk Hogan's yeah, buddies. Did you hear? Uh, and did you hear the rumor that RA owners may be interested in buying TNA? I mean, heck, we we could get together and buy TNA. <laughs> yeah. We could actually make a better product. We in six actually months. need a business plan to compete. I yeah, think that's what they're lacking. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What a wasteland TNA has become. It's been like that for several years now. I mean, it's been, you know, it, it's been the horrible, like, accidental, like, just let's mistake bring back Jeff, let, Oh, Jeff, let's bring in Matt Hardy. I know. Who's, who's, who looks like Marv. Yeah. He, like, Daniel Stern aged better than what Matt Hardy did. Yeah. Well, he's looking like this weird Prince thing now. He looks, he looks bad. But, um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
He's he's just it's just weird odd, but I don't know. I don't know what TNA is gonna do. They hire five people that I've never really even heard of. Not really excited about that, and I don't really care because the marquee guys that they built up for the past six, seven years just walked out the door. So it's like I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't I don't understand the logic sometimes of that company. I I, I just it amazes me. It amazes me. Um Card, I don't, the card's not bad for payback, I'll admit. Yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not it's about it's payback. It's, it's, it, it, okay. You, you, I, you, I guess we should like hop in the payback. Mm. It's kind of going to be a, a mismatch mm. of, of of topics tonight. Yeah. Well, yeah. topics for TNA should be paycheck and the lack of yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay, That's TNA's next pay per view. Paycheck. paycheck. Can we get it, please? <laughs> pay paycheck on paycheck yeah. in the poll, man. Yeah. It's on, <laughs> put it's on put back ten order. guys Who wins gets put, paid put, tonight. Put put ten guys in there. Only one guy gets the paycheck. We need uh, Oklahoma saying paycheck, paycheck, paycheck mm -hmm. four or five times. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's like being a mechanic. Okay, work okay so do you want yeah. want want me to start running down the stuff for? Uh, Pay rundown. Or, you mean TNA's uh, rosters really run? Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> well, I guess I guess Vince is gonna pick who's the forty or Shane's gonna who will run Raw. I really don't. And why are we back? I, to that again? I, I, it, it's gonna. This is gonna end up in the Shane versus a Triple H match. So <laughs> yeah, I mean that would be kind of good. Um, I'm just happy they're finally going to answer the question <laughs> of. Hey, Shane lost at WrestleMania. He was supposed to leave. Then, like, he was given control of so, Raw so, for a month. So, Stephanie, I, I was watching a little bit of Superstars today, and they replay in the, uh, and one of my co-workers, Joe, comes in, and he goes about stuff. He goes, she's a little top-heavy, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't always like that. Yeah. But like you know, hey, I don't know. That's what happens, uh, you know, when, when you're science. part of uh, okay, hundreds that, of millions of okay, dollars the, in the company. The YouTube uh, pre-show matches: Ryback versus Kalista. YouTube pre-show match. Yeah, yeah, they usually put it on, oh, on, on the network. Though. Yeah, yeah, on the network. Yeah, but okay. I think sometimes they put it on. You can on, watch it live on YouTube. Yeah, really. I, I didn't know the, they did that. I mean, no this idea. this may just be on the network. I'm not, com but it's Ryback against Kalisto. But who really is really excited for Ryback versus Kalisto? You know, I don't know. Who's Kalisto? No, I don't. He, he uh, is like some. He, he he's Sakura who doesn't screw up as much. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what annoys me. He, he kind of like imagine if Rey Mysterio went to like WWE in like 1996. Mm -hmm. I mean, he kind of wrestles kind of like that that loose luchador style. He's like yeah. he's like very solid technically. Yeah. But he's just sort of like I want to say reckless, yeah. but like that's sort of like his style. You know, a, a much younger Rey Mysterio. Yeah. That's exactly who I who I who I think. But like, why don't they get top talents from like Mexico instead of bringing these like bums in? Like they don't. They never bring the right international talent. I mean, I honestly can't think of a time that WWE actually brought in someone from, like, Japan or Mexico that was really worth it, besides, like, Mil Mascaris. When they bring them in, don't use them correctly. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. I mean, you have, like, the Orient Express, who aren't Orient at all. One guy's from Hawaii, and the other guy's American. So no, Ryback do does not Japan. matter. Well, technically, Hawaiian. No, no. Yeah, I mean, is, Ry is Ryback still doing the feed me, give me food? Really? Food, uh... Yeah. Why yeah. is Ryback's gimmick eating? That's what I really want to know. He eats. We get he's it. Large. Is he a large man? I mean, he's no bigger than, he's like... He's a meathead. That's all. Oh, he's yeah. a meathead that just loves to eat. Yeah. His whole thing is... His, he picks things his up His gimmick he is... His, his catchphrase is, is, feed me more. He, he likes to take a, a, the... the feed, <laughs> feed me doors. I like that. <laughs> I'm... Uh, Four. I'm a four. He just doesn't have that charisma. You can see it. He's just so lost. I think he's just an awful jackass. You yeah. know, honestly. He looks like he ate a horse. Like, his face looks like a horse. It's just weird. I don't know. He's just a weird yeah. looking dude. I am not excited for Kalisto versus Ryback. Who, who, who's the champion? Kalisto? Yeah. He, he retains. Kalisto's a U.S. champion. Love you too, Earl. And he was in the feud with Cena. Yeah. I... <laughs> At that point, scene is like whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And like we already got this on the last pre-show. Oh, yeah. 
You know, and apparently, like, no one in the arena saw it. Cause that, apparently, because like, no one could get in because they were having ticket scanner problems or something. Yeah, you pay like $100, you can't get in there. I am hot. <laughs> Talking about me. See, you're gonna What about it. Phil here? You'd like Phil. Earl, you like Phil, man. Phil's a good guy. Uh, so what else we got? Yeah, I'll uh, just tear you up. Uh, Bar Baron Corbin versus... Baron Von Rasky. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Oh, I do not care about Baron Corbin. I, he does... He's not intimidating. He's just a big, lanky guy. Um, yeah, I mean, like, imagine, mm. imagine Randy Orton. Imagine Randy Orton <laughs> with, like, no... With nothing. And... <laughs> And like Randy Orton had was very minimal to begin with. Uh, Ziggler, I um, don't may what 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 do, what do you think about that? I mean, I guess I mean Corbin's been steamrolling, been pretty much in squat matches. So yeah, I think maybe Ziggler Ziggler wins. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping he wins too. Oh, we have a a guest. Who's that? <laughs> my dad is going to Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he left already. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh. Okay, we also have Sami Zayn versus KO. That should be one of the, one of the better matches of the night. These kids right. are praying that TNA is going to end very soon. <laughs> Show them that. They're all <laughs> Show them that. <laughs> These kids are all together praying. They're, they're praying so hard that TNA is going to close in like the next three weeks. Because, like, TNA just needs to go away. Um, this is totally not acceptable, in my opinion. My one fear of the Zane Owens match is it turning in too much into a spot fest. Kind of one of those everyone trying to get their, get their shit in the match. Right. Um, but I still think it's going to be, like... No, it's going to be a great match because they just have that natural... Chemistry, right? I mean, they have years of facing these, and they're both French Canadian. Yeah, so. little Dino Bravo there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it 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 has potential to be one of the matches of right. the match. Of, I mean, they're both talented. I mean, I mean, I can't get over Kevin Owens. I mean, he moves like someone his size should not move. No, yeah. Um, I'm 5'10", mm -hmm. and um, Kevin Steen was about as uh, big as me. Yeah. I was like, I was looking at him eye to eye. Yeah. So, and he wasn't even like, uh, he was like bigger. I mean, he was like Chris's size, body yeah. wise. Yeah. Who? Kevin Steen. You're about as big as Kevin Steen. Yeah, just in better shape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But, I mean, Mac will be great because, I mean, they just have that, that natural chemistry and I hope this goes yeah. on for a while just because they need a good program like this. Uh just in general on on it's a good mid card program uh Yeah. I, I can't believe I'm gonna say that say this because it's pretty controversial. I think uh Zane and Owens isn't gonna be too spectacular in their history of working together. But like in terms of the pay of payback or, or WWE programming in the last two years. This is going to steal the show. Yeah. It is going to be is going to be awesome. But like, if you're going to look back and um, if you're going to look back at uh, yeah, uh, Generico and, and Kevin Steen, it's it's not going to be that special because we've pretty much seen everything at this point from yeah. those two. Well, yeah, like a Guerrero and uh, Mysterio or something. You know? well, right. How yeah. much can you do? I'm not, I'm not, I hate I hate you know. Crapping all over them, but like you know, I think we need to be real here. Yeah, you just took so, a dump on them, Brandon. I am sorry. Sorry. Big steamy horsepower. Exactly. All right. Let's see. We got Jericho versus Dean Ambrose. Uh, who? Did this match? Oh boy. This wow. match. This match. I don't, it seems quickly put together. I mean, it. It kind of feels like. He's <laughs> gonna take a dump on right, me somewhere. It, it kind of feels. To be honest. This will be a very, a very good match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a dump on Earl. Apparently, uh, uh, this is gonna You're be. Into it, do it. Actually, I agree. This could be, but uh, did, but I just feel like this was match was kind of made like they needed something for Dean to do, and they needed something for Chris to do, and it's, right. 
I mean, it's, I mean, it's Chris Jericho, so you know he'll he'll probably. I think Ambrose wins. I think he puts uh puts Dean over. Yeah, I think I think so too. One of the things that like I think that no one's talking about, and I thought it was absolute money, was Ambrose's promo. Uh, on the Raw before a payback. Oh, uh, yeah. He was just rattling stuff off. He was very smooth. He was very crisp, very clean. He, yeah. he set out his agenda on how he was going to kick uh, Chris Jericho's ass. It was phenomenal. I think, like, that's going to be, like, in promo, like, 101. And it's, I feel bad that that's going to be, like, regarded to the dustbin of history because that was, like, so good. If that was, like, if this was, like, the promo leading up to Lesnar at WrestleMania 32, it would have been huge. Yeah. But, like, you know, because it's on uh, a little show like this, it kind of... And I think, uh... And I think, uh, Ambrose is due because, uh... Let's face it. His match... They were really pumping up that match against Lesnar. And it never panned out to... To what it should have, should have been. Is Lesnar even a good wrestler? I mean, is he just... I don't know. Is Lesnar any good? Yeah. Is you know, he, I've been wondering that myself. Is because he, yeah. Is he just hype and that's it? I mean, well, I... Well, wait, like, don't give me any crap about John Cena's five, move, five moves of doom when Brock Lesnar has three. I don't think he Punch, can... Punch, actually... kick, throw. They're not suplexes. They're throws. Yeah. I don't know if you can even have, like, an hour match with somebody. I, I've never really seen him. He reminds me of Goldberg. We're just in that... Uh, could you uh, talk those minutes. lights? Sure. Five, ten minutes spot. Lights are going out. It's getting funky in here. Oh, you, put, actually, can you turn that on? Can you turn off the other one? Uh, I got yeah. the other one. Okay. I'll do something. So, yeah. Two right back there. Well, let's put some prints on. And we yeah, we got some. purple rain here. Oh, yeah. Um, that's, that's what I think. Yeah. I mean, those two are going to have a really great match. Yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be fun. Okay, let's yeah. see. We got the tag tournament. My boy, Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus the Vaude Villains. <laughs> I think I think uh I think Enzo and and Cass won won that. Right, cuz they're they're pretty hot. They're they're so. hot. Yeah, exactly. But actually here's the thing though. I'm going to go with the Vaude villains on this. I cuz I think the Dudley boys are going to come out and they're going to screw things uh up for oh, Enzo yeah, and Cass. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's going to be a that's going to be the bigger feud. Yes, yes. Yeah, because it's gonna then it's gonna be the Vaude villains and New Day, and then it's gonna be Enzo and Cass versus the Dudley Boys, and then whoever wins those will probably go on mm -hmm. to like SummerSlam or something, and that's probably when probably mm -hmm. uh, when New Day is gonna lose. So, <laughs> Luther Van plays in the <laughs> quiet looking. Man, I love Periscope, man. What technology? What a world we live in right right now. It's fantastic. I love it. Um. Okay, I wish I wish Chris was here, but like, hey, he doesn't watch NXT, you know. Exactly. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, like, New Day's been tag team champs for like a year now. They're, That's like ten years, and in, like uh, they're close to setting the new new record, I think, for current record for longest uh, title for longest title like. Hey, one Brandy. with one, uh, you know, uh -oh. it extended. Brownie time. Right. Brownie time. Um, Brownie time. Brownie time. Brownie time, baby. Brownie Thank time. you, sir. Time. One thing. <laughs> I like, like all this rustling this now is going to appear on the podcast. Brownies and beer. That's, That's right. Really great. It's so good. Um, it's just water and a can. But um, I think that one of the things that um is going to be really interesting, and I just completely lost my train of thought here. <laughs> oh man! Oh, uh, Kofi Kingston. He like holds the record. <laughs> he holds the record. Sorry. <laughs> he holds the record for um, longest reign as a tag team champion. So that yeah. that's that's really great too. Isn't he still in like one of the rumbles? They never threw him out because they threw him over on the barricade or something. Mm, probably. Yeah. I mean that Philly spot he did at the at the 2015 rumble oh, was whoa, so awful. Axel never got eliminated from the. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. So Roman and exactly. Reigns that were technically, technically, no, they, they were, were never won that match. They were doing that clock. They were counting up. Oh yeah, man, it was, it was great. It they was need, beautiful. They need to have like a match with all the guys that are still in the rumble, like Scotty Too Hotty, him. There's a couple others. You need like I don't want to say like an anti-rumble. Yeah, anti-rumble. Like a, a, a rumble 
to finish the Rumble. Spike Dudley hey, never got hey, any time. Hey, remember a few years ago, Spike we were playing Dudley WWE, WWE and uh, Gold Dust won the Rumble? Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we're <laughs> playing. We, we'll, he was a Dudley boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. When did Kofi Kingston threaten to fight kids? Do you, do you have evidence of this? Are you sure you're not going to... It's a date and time. It's what we want to see. Evidence. Physical. Spike Dudley or the, the kids? Kofi Kingston. Oh, Kofi Kingston Kofi wanted Kingston. to fight kids. You got a news article? That's fine. We'd like to see it. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I, is it like Chuck Taylor? Did you do like a Chuck uh, Taylor versus kids sort of thing? I'm pretty sure it's what <laughs> made a headline. I'm flaccid now, but great. Good. We're glad. Good. This country Good. needs more flaccidity. <laughs> I got gas. Oh. <laughs> so did that mean? Did that mean he got off while we? He's flashing now. No, no, no. I mean, like he that probably. Uh, um, as he he probably was just uh, he just we just killed it for him. Good. He like probably thought about baseball too much or something. Yeah. Uh, so we we're talking about the wait. We're still on the tag team match, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so in uh, returning to base. That's that's right. Yeah, we were. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, the Troy Johnson. You're the man. <laughs> we do, we do try our best here. We do try our best here. I visit D uh, okay. once a year. Thank you, the Troy. The Troy. <laughs> the Troy. The Troy. <laughs> Not the Troy. Well, I can't see from that far away. <laughs> that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> but but he goes to Detroit once a year. Once every... a year. <laughs> It's all, it's all hey, for you, you Troy. You, you just uh, did a endorsement for Detroit. <laughs> uh, uh, they're gonna. This match isn't going to end anything with the uh, tag team champs, tag team titles. Uh, if, if anything is going to continue, yeah. so uh, this uh, is, no, I this think is gonna be the catalyst hold, or hold, New Day holds on. I mean, obviously they're not fighting in a match, but I think. Even still, I think whoever they face, I think they retain. And if you want the new day to lose, don't buy any of their merchandise. <laughs> they set the WrestleMania record for most merchandise uh, sales. Wow! wow. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, that's a wow. And they just Whew. suck so bad. They do not they suck. suck. <laughs> they are so entertaining. It's okay, definitely just PG. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. If yeah. You all the whole time, I want to put that trumpet in the posterior in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> and Xavier Woods. <laughs> but wait, how, you want to you want to uh, you want to trash the trum trombone? But meanwhile, Bill Alfonso and the whistle. Oh, that was genius, right? <laughs> well, I wanted to knock it down his throat, so that's all he'd have to talk through. They need Isaac <laughs> Yang to give. Oh yeah, baby, straight down the line. Re remember Daddy. when? Remember when? Remember when? Uh, remember yeah, when Alfonso. Remember when Alfonso was was the ref for the uh, Gennady Michaels steel cage match? Oh yeah, yeah. When, when Nash was outside, and I want the only way to win that match was to escape. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I forget who pins who, but but uh. Yeah, Alfonso. But Alfonso runs in there and starts going one, two, oh, and 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 Gorilla Monsoon's like, what is he doing? Wow. <laughs> yeah, Alfonso, man, he needed an Isaac Yankum to do some dentistry on him, man. You know what's really weird? Watching him in WCW. Well, he was like Ali Gante's handler. Alfonso in WCW. He was a ref. I yeah. had no idea. He actually he 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 ref the match. It was like the first WCW Japan Super Show in '91. Yeah. He refed. Um, yeah, in Tokyo. Though. He refed Tatsuji T Tatsumi Fujinami and Ric Flair for the uh, WCW World Heavyweight Championship. In the Tokyo it, Egg Dome. Yes. Yeah, because Fonzie wow. he was the referee in WCW for years before he went to WWF. I mean, right, and the, like he he refed a couple matches in WrestleMania Nine too. Oh wow! I think uh, WrestleMania yeah, Nine. He was there from like '93 to about '94. Straight down the line, daddy. Because he was like with Alex Dante. That was like his body or something. His hand, like whatever. Well, uh, yeah, what other match? We're, we're trying to we're trying to get some people on our feed. So uh, we have the. This is nice to say the women's championship match. I thought they're gonna say war games. I was getting excited. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> a women's war games match? Why not? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, oh man. This, the the Bellas aren't around to screw this up. So it's going to be fantastic. It, 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 You'd be happy for a day. I would. It, it, it's Natalia with... Because you know it's going to with Bre the same. It's Natalia yeah. with Bret Hart versus Charlotte who's the woman's champion with Ric Flair. Well, I would prefer this match if they didn't have the two dinosaurs yeah, yeah. involved. Too old. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Oh, um, uh, yeah, he did. The Troy Johnson, yeah. He told Natty to, to kill, kill herself, herself. On, on, a, on this week's SmackDown. Well, Classy fun. move, Rick. Classy move. That's okay. Okay, uh, sure. But 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 here's my <laughs> here's my problem Hanging with this. In the somewhere. I'll get you more brown in there. My 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 problem here is I wish Brett and Rick weren't involved because let the women cut cut their own mold. Yeah. Yeah, is there any reason why we yeah we, This we, match will be this will be oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be great because you have like Tremendous wrestlers, you know, going at it. But do we really Nat need Nat the dinosaurs? Natty's really going underrated. At it? I they really underutilized her and let them fight forever. That's what I say. Yeah. Does she fart or something? Is that her gimmick? No. Yeah, that, it used that, to be. It used to be that. That was so demeaning. I mean, come on, guys. So, someone had a demeaning gimmick in WWE. Oh. No. A no. Vince, but Vince liked it because it made him giggle. Yeah. Vince is crazy. But, no, this He's is going to be a good match. He's out of time. <laughs> and, 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 and this is going to be a good match. Charlotte, I think, retains. Yeah. Because you still have, you know, all the no, other... No, I mean, this is... This, everything's just leading up Charlotte versus Sasha at SummerSlam. Yeah, and I mean that's if, and from what I've read, that's when Sasha gets the belt. If this was Natalia from like five years ago, when well, she's just coming off the New Heart Foundation, no, I'd say like yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm, like, I'm it saying, could go either way here. And but I'm like, saying now, it's right like, here, Mania next year should be Bailey versus Sasha for the for the title. Yeah, for sure, that'd be great. And you know, but God, Bailey's hurt. What are we gonna do? N no, I. I heard a rumor killer today that that was just part of the match. Because, oh, that was a work. Because the doctor oh. came, the doctor that came in was was someone in development. So. Oh <laughs> man. Whew. Okay. Thank God. Okay. I feel a lot better now. Moving on. I and I think I bought you a birthday present, and it's gonna. I think you're gonna like it. It's gonna be Bailey. It's gonna be Bailey related. Please tell me it's Bailey. <laughs> Uh, I I wish I wish I could pull the. Oh, let's let, let's talk about oh, Bailey, please. Oh, oh, please. Oh man, what a sweetheart. I know. Like I don't want to say like anything crude or crap. No, I, I, I can't. can't. Don't. No, no that, that's easy. Shut, shut your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> it's like Ruth Buzzy, guys. Okay, come on. Like. Oh man, I don't see it. You know what I want to do with do with Bailey? I want to take her to her like her favorite she's restaurant. The, take her like to a nice place dancing. No, she's the girl you take to Kennywood. You have a fun yeah. day. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you hope she gives you a peck on the cheek. That's all I want. <laughs> this is one little one right here. Like one, one tiny peck on the cheek. And all you so want nice. is a peck on the cheek, and I had fun. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like you know, spend like a hundred dollars trying to win her like one of those giant teddy bears. Yeah, no, that's what you you go there, you spend all your money and try to get play all those chance games and try to get one of those damn teddy bears. And that's right. Parking lot, you get the pegs and cheeks. You hope your car starts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> great time. But, like what a like what a positive person, you know. That's what the one thing we need in this world. He's gonna we be more super, people like Bailey. He's gonna. <laughs> he's like got that stone. I mean, <laughs> what is a public announcement? Yes, <laughs> yes. If I could just say super loser, that would be her. Her <laughs> oh, gimmick. Oh, wow. They, they need to have someone just come and crap all over her parade and ruin well, her. Well, yeah, Oscar. Make her the best heel they can. <laughs> just take her whole gimmick uh -oh. and ruin oh, everything. Oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, losing. We we got problems. Battery power. Phil, you want to tap that? What's it say? Ten percent. Mm-hmm. Ten percent on battery oh, yeah. life. Mm -hmm. That's okay. 
Probably ten percent. So what is Bailey's gimmick? What is she supposed to be? She's a hugger. <laughs> no, so a loser. A hugger. She's not a loser. First of all, she was champion for like months. That's down good. in NXT. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Where, Who the hell was Barry Windham? Oh my God! Don't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where was Barry Windham? Who's Jeez. Barry Windham? Barry Windham's amazing. Well, like the Rock and Roll Express. Oh yeah, those guys that the WWE, WWE, WWE paraded around in 1997. They paraded the corpse of the Rock and Roll Express around in 1990. <laughs> Let's not why forget I mean, that. <laughs> Let's reinvent the Midnight Express with. Uh, with Bodacious Bart and Bombastic Bart, whatever the hell. <laughs> that wasn't my idea. WCW. Uh. Yeah, fine. You can crap all over, man. I uh, sorry, Barry Windham. You can't compare her to Bailey. Bailey's like a piece of dog shit compared to oh, Barry Windham. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. First of all, first of all, the fact that you're uh, so angry about Bailey just goes to show how awesome Bailey is. It shows you, you how much your gimmick if, is. If you didn't her. care about Bailey at all, you would be saying boo. She's just ugly looking. It's easy. Hey! Hey, you know what hey. I need? You know what would all settle this? If she was in WCW, you'd be like, oh, no, Bailey's I'd be thoroughly ball. embarrassed. I'd be thoroughly I embarrassed. I need pictures. Specific pictures. You don't want to see oh. how, man. Here, I'll show uh, you. No, no, you need, like, video. Oh, you I need, need her pictures. coming out with, like, the wild, wacky, inflatable tube men. Tube men. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. great. I work at a dealership. I see fl <laughs> flappy guys. Super fan, is he? All the time. I can't find the Kofi wanting to fight your children. It appears to be from the December 28th Raw. Okay. Oh, so this was like, was this like with the New Day? You tried. Yeah, you did try. I appreciate it. Is it you, if you actually, you said the, the December 28th uh, episode of Raw. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Just go on the network and, and watch it. So we can't do that right now. We're kind of in the middle of something. But like, we'll definitely, we'll check that out for sure. Look at this grotesque thing, Alan. Whoa! Wow! That was he was faster. Hey, look at that. Oh, we see this grotesque thing. No, good from afar, but far from good. Oh, he, then then he would have lost. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, first of all, they first Bailey all, Bailey pulled out so much sympathy for her at uh, NXT uh, Takeover Dallas. It was just like it was. Just, she's a very, very good wrestler. She knows how to work a crowd, and it, she is just fun to watch. That's great. Okay, we can't compare to Barry Windham. It's kind of like the girl. Love, like, love Barry love. Windham sucks compared to Bailey. <laughs> well, that's fine. If you want love to, right, who would you rather do, Barry Windham or this girl? <laughs> I none of the above, really, for me. I just I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you have yeah, your own enough. issues. You really have your your own stuff to work out <laughs> there, but. What was our topic originally? Have we get started on this? Word payback, Bailey, like, Bailey and uh, the uh, one. Okay, let's talk about the Intercontinental Championship match. Oh, okay. good, the Mountie and what, Bret Hart? Cesaro versus The Miz. Oh, God. Watching all those promos on Rise has, has been very entertaining. <laughs> Cesaro wins. Yeah, he's he's pretty hot right now. I mean, they're they're gonna give him that 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 guy and push. <laughs> are they though? Yeah, are they really? He, I, th I think <laughs> like with with this time off, he kind of learned how to talk. Uh, you you like he's the, he's like he's at interacting very he, uh, well with uh, the with the you, you, very he, well. With he the uh, we're impressed by Cesaro's uh, pull away uh, suit. Remember, he's the guy on Raw that has the. The suit, suit that he just pulls. Oh, up. he pulls off the pieces. <laughs> he's like down. He's ready to go. I need a suit like that. I need a tire like that. Don't know when I would use. Miz is but I need is five fire emojis. He should be a manager of the stars. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know that I kind of do like the Miz's gimmick because he just says like movie quotes. I'm yeah. surprised he's still around, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right. I thought he would have gone a long time. So ago. what? Who, so who what did kidding? they do? <laughs> they need to do something with some Sandow. Right, yeah. Hey, he, he, he technically Sandow had one on carried Raw. the Miz for a year. Hardcore, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. I mean, no one liked that group because of the Miz. They no. loved... Sandow was the reason they were getting him a pop. <laughs> Sandow still gets over. He was on Raw. He was going to fight uh, Corbin. Yeah. People still went nuts for Sandow. Silence. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So I guess, do you want to move to the championship match? 
Yeah, let's go ahead to the championship match. The phenomenal AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns. Do you want me to say it? Yes. Balor's going to debut here. Oh, are you thinking he, the bullet? I'm think, thinking the bullet clip. Here's what's going to happen. Styles is going to go to the Good Brothers. He's going to go to Gallows and Anderson. He's going like he's going to say, "Hey, I don't want you interfering with my match." And there's like there's going to be some like crazy stipulation where those two where those two cannot interfere with interfere with this match. Okay. Uh, Styles and Reigns are going to have they're, they're going to do their match. Styles is going to be on the ropes. Maybe like the lights are going to go out or something. Mm -hmm. But like. Balor's uh, music, it's going to hit. He's going to hit the ropes, beat the crap out of Reigns. Styles gets the pen. Styles' new uh, WWE champion. That doesn't necessarily bury Reigns, because Reigns can always still go for the title. Yeah, uh, He can always reenact the um, rematch clause. So Now, now what's your, the Bullet Club, what's baby? your thoughts on... Uh, on uh, Bullet or my NWO. Yeah. Now, what's your Bullet. thoughts of also? I heard sure. rumors. I've heard people discuss Gallas and Good Brothers turn on on Styles, and they kind of create a reigns some weird weird thing. Be what's your thoughts on Reigns going heel? Because I'm. Rain, he needs to do something. Fans are already booing him. Might as well give him a, a, re a reason to boo. He needs to become so indignant with the fans, for sure. Uh, he just needs to just get on the microphone. I like I like what he his first words on the mic after his win in WrestleMania. Oh, come on, guys. Like, he like he knew, like, wink, wink, nudge, well, nudge. He, you hate me. Like, he should just hate the fans like, right back. I, 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 I do, in a way, feel bad for him. Because, I mean, it's not his fault. No one should ever be put in the situation and, and, that Roman Reigns I'm, I'm, I mean, I think maybe ten years ago this doesn't happen to him. Because I think it's now with the, all the dirt sheets and the internet smarks. And it's yeah. just... And it's just like they know that Reigns has been Vince's chosen one. And, little project. And now, so now they want to be smarter and and smarter, and uh, they they just don't want to like him because that's what that's what Vince wants. Right. And yeah, and he's like, could you imagine like being the guy? Like anyone could have been in that situation, you feel just as, just as bad for them. I, I mean, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. I mean, if you saw his face when he won the rumble lot last year, he just had that petrified look on his face, like, oh no, like yeah. he he kind of he looked like shake shaken up, like like I don't think he was he was expecting that. I, and it's been a weird few rumbles, you know. People just right. just shitting on the crowd, and I know. I think the rumbles still. I no. Uh, I, do I, we have a problem with Reigns? We're also recording yeah. audio here. Yeah. But do we have a problem with Reigns as champion or just as a character? Bill, you want to take that? Uh, I don't have problems with him as a champion. I don't have. I, I, with him being a champion. I. I don't know, his character just still and I mean Yeah. He needs a manager or something. I'm he he can't talk on the mic. And I just feel like Yeah, because when I, he was I, in the shield, he, he wasn't bad. No, and and as, like as we yeah. as we discussed in the past, Ambrose and Rollins, their con characters have completely differentiate Pulled yeah. away from the shield, and Rain still comes out. For a while, he was still coming through the crowd. You know, he still had the vest on. Like it's, it's you. That's the one thing. I, yeah, that's the one thing I will say about Reigns. Reigns never grew out of the shield. He never grew up. Ambrose did that. Rollins did that. But like, he needs like new music. He needs new gear. They he just, just needs need a, a massive overhaul. Right. He, right he now needs a rebranding. Like Marty Jannetty. Right. He just needs apparently to be... he got kicked out of bars at WrestleMania. Oh Jeanette. yeah. I saw a picture of him in like a hotel hotel like uh 
he was a badass in the shield. Why did they go away from that? Um, I don't think they really went away from that. Really, he just I, uh, he just I, hasn't I, been I kicking his butt ass. I think it was just time for everyone to. I think they want to give everyone their singles shot. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, let's face it, Sable's only lost for so long, and I don't know, they're becoming stale. Remember when Ambrose in the Shield was the U.S. champion? Like, yeah. what, he defended like the the title like what four times in like a two hundred two hundred day period or something. It was like. it was crazy. Yeah, it was bad. Um, but like, uh, yeah, even like Reigns as a person, I don't hate him. I really don't. Um, I, he's got a kid, and I mean, he seems nice. I I guess I don't. I think he hammered it home before. It it was his <clears throat> position was blown way before, and we all knew he was Vince's guy. Right. And had this would have been. Back in the '90s or mid '90s, you would have had to call a hotline to figure out, you know, <laughs> find the dirt. Three ninety nine online, very. Listen to what Mark Madden will tell you. Uh, right. Right. right, Yeah, <laughs> I think if we're gonna, I think this not now we're this gonna version of, owe Madden a couple bucks because we just said a couple of pizzas. <laughs> I'll buy him God. a beer next time we're at a soccer game. Oh, yeah, next time we're at Kane's. <laughs> I think that Roman Reigns now should have been ha should have been happening. He should have won the Rumble um, in 2014, the one in Pittsburgh, the one we went to. <laughs> oh, boy, first of all, it would have been way better than Batista, for sure. You get down to that final three. As soon as, like, his punk was, was eliminated. It, it was Reigns, Sheamus, and Batista. We were literally sitting, like, right next to each other. It was Phil, me, my uncle. Punk gets eliminated. It was Sheamus. Not sure. Reigns and and Batista and we just look at each other I like, guess, like I, I guess, guess we're cheering for Reigns. <laughs> like I like and like yo he was like he wasn't that bad like at at that last uh, part the problem of the is Reigns got caught up in the era of Daniel Bryan where yeah yeah and I mean it's and it's not Daniel Bryan's fault but that's who everyone wanted and and I mean. And that that's all that happened was he got caught up in the air in the in the air of Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan still, like, was 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 the overall favorite and it's just it's just everyone wanted one one wanted we'll Daniel Bryan. I mean I I remember oh god that oh god that rumble. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. The one, the one we went to. There, a uh, ride of us. Yeah, crowd turn. Did the, and the funny thing is that Orton Cena match wasn't that bad of a match, but the crowd turned. The it, problem was it was Cena Orton part thirty. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so Orton Cena, Jesus, I'm so sick of all of them. I have to go back and watch that match. Yeah. I have to go back and watch. I don't remember that. All right. So what's gonna happen here? In like three or four years, are we going to have another core group of people that will have that legacy, like The Rock, Austin, McFoley? Or are we just screwed? I no, think. I, I, I think. I think. But I think Finn's got a good chance. You're going to hate hate me saying this, but Bailey's going to be Bailey's uh, going to be huge, huge in main <sighs> roster. She's going to be tremendous. I don't know. I don't see that. What do you, you think? You've got about a good amount. Enough chance of having really good wrestling is ECW returning or something Ugh. on the same line, being available on public TV. You know, really minute, good wrestling. Go. Okay. Uh, I, uh, okay. But but yeah, I mean no, I think I think I think there's some good talent down. I mean. Right. They're building something. They're building something very special. With who? With who? Where? When? Like. Even with NXT, Rude, Abushi, Champa, Na uh, Nakamura, Nakamura. But really, though, Aries. Young, Are, Aries. I don't see that. I, Joe. I, I see Big Man squashing all them. I don't see it. Look, I hate to tell you this, but Hank's gonna die. He is, but he'll he's, hang on to the bitter end. You got like a good another 15, 20 years. Of I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, he's not that old. He'll be around. He's just. I don't see him pushing hardly any of those guys. No Triple H, maybe, but. 
I just don't. Hey man, time will tell when it comes to, you know, the future of the future of the company. For I sure. mean, there's there's not gonna be a Japanese world heavyweight champion anytime soon. There won't be a black one either. I guarantee no. you, because Vince is in charge. He ain't gonna have that. Alan. Yes, sir. You killing me, bro? <laughs> what? Is that you? No. What? Someone just ripped ass. <laughs> oh, uh, Phil. Uh, Phil. Uh, Phil has been the unsuspected perpetrator here for a while now. What a terrorist. Yes. Well, we're getting close. Yeah, well, we also want to hit another uh, point in the show here. See, one of our favorite podcasts right now is yeah, Wrestling with, Without Depression. Wrestling Without Depression. Now, Wrestling with I'll, Depression is Marty pretty good. I love Marty and Sarah. Oh, what, what? They're tremendous. I, I cannot Sarah, believe how Sarah's funny another girl. Oh. But she's a Cubs fan. I... Uh, you know? As long as... As long as... While we're... Uh, the wickets are open. Put it in. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Oh, well, gee, you wow. might be black on that one. Woo! I knew what you were trying to say. Well, what about Marty? I will say what I, I know. Say. I, he, sure, we'll give, we'll give Marty some love, too. Yeah. Guys, do so you have a winner from the main event at Payback? I can't choose at all. Storylines galore. I'm going with Styles. Formation of the Bullet Club. Uh, Balor's going to make his uh, main roster debut. Uh... I think Reigns retains somehow, but he does. He doesn't pin Styles. D oh, Styles does not get pinned. Yeah, DQ. 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 Okay, good, 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 good. I like that. So I'm sorry, going back to what we were talking about just a few seconds ago. Wrestling without depression. I mm -hmm. think if you haven't checked out those four episodes, is going to be. Uh, wrestling without the pressing is is phenomenal. You have to check that yes. out. And one of the things they do on that show is they have a uh, fuck Mary kill segment. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> you pick three people, and out of those three, you have to choose one you want to fuck. You have to choose one you want to marry. You have to choose one you want to kill. So Phil has been so tremendous, and he figured out a uh, fuck Mary kill. How many did you did you figure out? I think I got a couple up my sleeve. Okay, great. Oh, I don't have any. Okay. Want me? Just... What? Oh, what, 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 what anyway. I know you guys have been waiting with bated breath for this. Yeah. See, I used the thesaurus on there. But, okay, my first fuck, Mary kill will be Lena, Maurice, and Renee Young. Oh. Let's see. I'm trying now, to... Now, remember, Lena is engaged to Rusev. Okay. Maurice is married to Miz. Okay. And Thank you. And Renee Young is dating Ambrose. I'm going to get to... I, I know, <laughs> like, right off the bat. Okay, so, out of the... We're playing Fuck, Mary Kill. We're going to choose between uh, Lana, Maurice, and Renee Young. Okay. So, who, uh, Alan, you want to play? You want to go first? I don't know any of these people. So. Okay. And you don't know what we're <laughs> Let's talking uh, about. Uh, I'm returning I, after a 16-year hiatus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, you haven't missed much, trust me. I, I know. I got an album. The album was good. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to kill Maurice. Sorry, nothing personal, but the, com compared to the other two, I got plans with the other two. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to fuck Lana... Because she does that thing on the apron where she's standing there and her uh, right leg is over here. Hello. Uh, fuck Maurice, marry Lana, kill Renee. I would marry Renee Young. Are you kidding? She seems like so lovely. You know, uh, exactly the kind of person he, you want to you take on. You know what? Mom. You want? That's my Zach. Yeah. Yours is. And plus, you get Dean Ambrose. Look, <laughs> could you just hang out with, with Boy, Dean Ambrose? That's could, could, party. Could, could could you see it just there? Hey, well, if you married Renee Young, why would Dean be hanging around? Hey, Phil, I brought the miter saw over. You see, you want to go back and have a match? No. <laughs> oh, rubber that, maybe. That John Moxley right miter saw. Spot was so stupid. <laughs> oh my god! Rubber oh, my blades god. and all. I saw. Oh. Uh, but okay, but Phil, you you basically agree with me on that? 
Yeah, that that was the Zach. Yeah. Well, like, Maurice has like like kind of like nothing going for me. Uh, but like, oh my God, Wanda does that thing with her legs. Oh, cute. Oh, oh my Lordy, Lordy. Lordy. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> attracting all, attracting all those gentlemen collars. I see now. Gentlemen collars. Okay, let's, let me think of... We got another one here. Eva Marie. You, okay. <laughs> Azuka. Who? And Alexa. Oscar. Uh, uh, yeah, Oscar. Oscar. Uh, Oscar. Oscar. Uh, and Alexis Bliss. Are you detached as I am? Yeah, man, we have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> oh, see, now this one's a little challenging. Mm -hmm. I know who I'm killing right away. Eva Marie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Lana is the only is the only that can attract Dolph and Rusev. Yeah. Is that a bad thing? Good for her. Yeah. I can't I can't attract anyone. Good lord. It's bad. It's bad. I'm killing Eva Marie right off the bat on here. So Eva Marie, Oscar, Alexa, Alexis Bliss, Alexis or Alexa? Is it Alexa? Oscar. So yeah, Eva Marie. Eva Marie, Oscar, and, Ale and Alexa Bliss. What's up, right, Alexa? So we're killing people right here. How will we kill? Oh, I like. Well, do we want to get into this? Should we get into this? <laughs> I prefer we not. <laughs> I, I, I prefer. I feel like a creep saying this already. I prefer no restraining. I can get really in depth in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's why we. That's why we're declining. <laughs> right. How about just. Death by very old age. How about that? Co Eva. Oh, who says this? V. Troy Johnson. Co Eva. Mary Bliss. Fuck. Fuck, uh, fuck Oscar. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I would go with, too. Oscar would seem like a very angry fuck. So, yeah. like, I think I can handle that. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, at first I had Oscar and Alexa switch, but now I think I'm going to marry Alexa and fuck. Uh, right. Fuck Oscar. Now, see, I'm tired of, like, I don't want to get into th too personal here, but I'm tired of, in my life, dealing with, with like, this um, faux, alpha, faux alpha female. That's what I think uh, Asuka is. And that's just is something I, I just can't deal with in my life anymore. So, like, you know, just one and done, getting it over with, you know. And Probably, by, I, 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 I wouldn't like it. Like Marty, I will never include Bailey in the... Thank God. Why Thank not? God. I cannot talk to like about her like that. I, I, I feel so no. I like we, we want to take Bailey to Kennywood. Why? That's what we because she's so nice. Oh my goodness. She's so nice. Any comments on the passing of China? It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Uh, check out our episode eighty three of uh, New School Republic uh, podcast or New School Republic. Wrestling podcast. You can check it out on YouTube. Uh, it's episode eighty-three. We have uh, we do devoted a whole forty minutes to it, and it is it's incredibly sad. I think the one thing that's really upsetting me about China's passing is I had a student who just absolutely, for whatever reason, she was like sixteen. No, she was seventeen. She absolutely loved China for whatever reason. She just thought the the world of her, and, you know, and just to have her go so so quickly and, and suddenly it's it's very sad it makes it makes it extra sad for me because like not only are her friends and family sad but like i know someone personally who's probably who's devastated by this triple h and steph's actions don't make this passing even don't do make this even worse um i think like they they handle it just all right just all right you know, I I, mean, I, th I thought everyone in there, you know, Pac, Triple H, I mean, I, I mean, even though they weren't on the greatest terms, they cared about, about her. I mean, yeah. yeah. Now. Yeah, she'll, I, she'll be in next year. I, it, I can't believe it took uh, China dying to get her into the Hall of Fame, but like, hey, that's, that's, she'll I be can't believe that. all Hall of Fames. Yeah. It's yeah, sad, but it, it is what it is. But not like the national or the, the national pro wrestling hall of fame, though. Not like the brick and mortar in New York, now in Texas. You know, no, not like that one. Yeah, because they just have like they have like people going in all the time. Yeah, WWE is just like whoever Vince 
likes and and who who's on his good side now. It, it's new. It it's took my care to die. Die. It took yeah. my care to die for him to get in. Who would have guessed Warrior would have died right afterwards? That that that, that that's the that, that raw that that raw that permanently did it. He he knew he he knew something was up. Yeah. That that really saddened me. I mean, he was one of my favorites. It was it was very. We gotta we gotta end this on an up note. Now, you have another F Mary kill. Yeah, I think I can pull one out. Okay, let's do Natty. Okay. Paige. And Becky Lynch. Okay, so we got Natty, Natty, Paige, Becky Lynch. Um. I'm killing Paige. Yeah, same She here. just seems so dull now. What, what? What? She misses the term divas? Yeah. You were supposed to be part of the revolution. What happened to you? You were like supposed to be like now, one of the first ones. Now she's ones. like banging like rock stars and screwing up their careers. And <laughs> yeah. I mean like, you know what, Paige, he, 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 you're she, fine. She's like dating like these punk rockers and like their careers are going down the, <laughs> down the toilet. I, I I don't need someone like Paige in my life. Like so, gone. Oh, um, man. So Detroit. Uh, I, uh, I I'll, I'll fuck Natty and marry Becky. See, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna fuck Lynch, but marry Natty. But then again, I don't I don't want to marry into the Hart family. You see, that's my point. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I, I don't want to deal with those. those I'm probably gonna fuck Natty and Mary Lynch because <laughs> I do not want to be part of the Hart family. I just I, I don't need that grief. I'm sorry, I don't. You know, they always say you know. No, yeah. I don't know. I'm not from Canada. No, and like we're going we're going over to Uncle Brett's now. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh God! You gotta listen to his career. You have have I showed you the dungeon? <laughs> no, we're not going down to the dungeon. And Brett was the greatest champion. Brett, Brett, yeah, he's right. Bret Hart will get in your ear. <laughs> he's the greatest champion. He's still alive. No, he no, he he's he been dead for like ten years. Okay, yeah. I think since two thousand two. Now we were discussing the other week. We started talking about wrestlers that are alive and dead. Me and Al literally talked about Balls Mahoney two days before. Yeah. We talked about China uh, yeah, about we were or so before. And I don't know if we should even be talking about wrestlers anymore who have once wrestled. He, he's, I think he... Yeah. Uh, it is, but I think he... Uh, the, the cancer that Bret Hart's fighting right now. But I think he's... He hasn't officially beat it, but I've, obviously, if he's showing up on yeah, if he's hey, going, if he's going on Raw uh, and not, not Raw, but if he's if he's going to be on pay per view, yeah, he's kicking that cancer's ass for sure. You're out. He's trying to do a last for Raw. Yeah, well, well, I don't paycheck. know. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, it's a paycheck, but to where? Well, Brett's the best champion he knows. But anyway, should yeah. we continue to talk about prior wrestlers? I mean, uh, this is this really. I I, I don't know. I mean, it's the thing we, we we try to find out. You know, they're dead or alive, and I, I keep digging. No, the deep sad part the is, like wrestlers. I gotta Google their name to see if they're like, even yeah. like like Jim Nyhart. Jim Nyhart. A few weeks ago, I had, I thought he was still alive, but. I wasn't sure, you know. But he's still alive, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. He's not dead. Right now, knock on <laughs> yeah, wood. Right we got to knock on wood somewhere here. Here's some wood right in my uh, head. He got it right there. Um, I think another thing that's like so weird is like, like how many people like died young? Chris Candido's oh, yeah. gone. He he died in the most stupidest way possible, and wasn't even his fault. And that was Stu stupid blood clot. He flew with a blood clot. Yeah. What did he know? His doctor knew, yeah, and yeah. told him it gave him the green light. I think, I think, Dear like God, I think that's like one of the the only good things is like whatever like Sonny did. Sonny like went after that doctor for a mal malpractice. Oh, so, of course. Eddie died too young too. But that's the thing, man. When you do drugs, it takes a toll on your body, regardless of how clean you're doing. Did he? It takes a toll on your body. Steroids? No, I don't think he did. Uh, no. Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, he was taking some. I thought we were still yeah, talking about. Yeah, thought he was. Oh yeah. I, I, I just thought he was really good. And you know, I mean, and, and Larry Sweeney's just so 
Oh, uh, sad. Such a great town. There was a lot of like local deaths too. A lot of suicides in our area. I don't area. know what's wrong with these guys. I don't know why they do Two, what they do. I think like one of the best. One of the, okay, when I was like doing all the uh, ca uh, camcorder work for uh, Championship Wrestling Federation, based out of Manesson, Pennsylvania, there was this guy there. His name was Devil Budokan. One of the one of the craziest matches I've ever seen live was a four way ladder match for uh, what was it? Oh, dude, it was great. What, what, what title was that? I want to say like for the Mon Valley title. Okay. Wow. It was such a great match. Okay. And I kind of was upset cause, because I missed like half of it. I missed like the first half because I was shooting promos. So I, but I got to ca catch that last half. I was like, man, that was a great match. But then like I had to get the promos afterwards. And I'll tell you what, man. Devil Brutalcon was such a nice guy to me. He was a consummate for professional. And he, he cut like one of the best promos. Like he's like he lost. He was the booker. He booked that. He booked himself to lose. And he's just like sitting, he's sitting there. He's like sitting there in a the corner, sitting in a chair. He's like, man, I don't, I don't know what's next for, for Devil Budokan. And he was like so sad. And like, then we wrapped up. Like, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, great. Anytime. He's like more, more than happy to film more promos like that. that he was, a, that is a true professional. He was, he was so great. I'm so upset that like, we can't, we don't have him anymore. He's gone. There was an, uh, also another guy. Uh, Christopher Arcadia. I oh can't, yeah. Do you remember him? I remember yeah. Bell. Yeah. Young. He was young. He was like super young. He could have been like twenty two, twenty three. I don't even know why, but he like he, again passed committed, away at that young of age. He committed suicide. Really? Yeah. And then just, again, another great. Not even like a great talent. Just another great person gone. It's it, awful. It, Same you know, thing with Sweeney. It, it's just. I think lots of these guys have depression, and people just look at the. Oh, you're just sad. No, that's way no. worse. No, you're not sad. You're right. You're, think, do, you're doing what you love. You're doing it. You're getting paid. Think about living, and you're not being used right, perhaps. Uh, I mean, a lot of things wear away. I I know. I know it. it I've it's just I've seen it. I, I think the underlying thing, I think a lot of people that have depression don't get diagnosed for it properly, and it's it's not... A lot well, of medical uh, professionals will call bullshit on that. But yeah, that's crazy. It, that it is it, crazy. It, Absolutely. It, 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 it's just, you're not, it's just, you're not just sad. It's just... Everyone has a little bit of depression. I mean, it's just uh, yeah. And the laborers, I'm a laborer. You see it all the time. <laughs> so, uh, you gotta fight through it. Sometimes it's too much. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on at home you don't see, so on and so forth. Uh, becomes more than just earning a paycheck. Mm hmm. I, so, I, I guess, like, the things, like, the thing I wanna say is if, like, if you know someone who's, like, feeling sad, bro, sister, just talk to them. Do something. Honestly. Reach out to them. Yeah, you could be like Bailey and give them a hug. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. How cute. You know, I mean, a hug might I mean, work. No, it, you know it, what? It, you know what? You know, they, they curtail steroids. It's still going on. Right. But uh, perhaps they, they need a department for depression. You know, somebody to talk to. I mean, these guys are used and abused and thrown away. Right. I mean, they're... They care? Yeah, they, they induct them to the Hall of Fame. They're dead. They don't know. But... I mean, they're as good as... WWE, you're as good as your next match. And I mean, you can... Yeah. That kind of goes back to old it, school wrestling. And I mean, I I feel bad for Girl guys like, like Zack Ryder, who... Bust their ass off. I... I He's probably one of the hardest workers in that company. And and kudos to them. They kind of gave us, hey, we've treated you like shit for most of your time here. But you're go we're going to give you, at the biggest mania crowd ever, your, your mania moment. Yeah. Oh my God! What a wrestling moment! Moment right, wasted at WrestleMania 22. Yeah, 32. Yeah. 
All right. Zack Ryder did something right. Yeah. Yeah, Zack Ryder. I mean, eh. I, I've always liked him. He seems like a cool dude. He's right. just wasting I, time. I, being I, 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 it's getting I paid, know, though. Yeah. Th there's part of me. No, no. I will. Uh, Troy, you seem like a great guy, but The Miz did not take anything away WrestleMania related to Zack Ryder. Like, in 50 years from now, when some kid wants to go back and watch all the WrestleManias, when he gets to WrestleMania 32, he's going to watch Zack Ryder winning the... So Zack's going to tell his grandkids, yeah. I climbed up that ladder, pushed the Miz off, and grabbed that championship in front of... 100,000 people. Plus. Okay? And here's the thing. That kid watching that WrestleMania 50 years from now, when, like, WrestleMania 82 is around the corner... I He's not gonna. Oh God, I can't even. <laughs> it's, it's it's not gonna, It's not even gonna be mentioned that he lost the title the next night on Raw. It's not. It's not gonna be mentioned. You, like even now, you know what happened the night after the five years from now, you're just gonna see in their Continental Championship ladder match winner Zach. Right. That's all. That's probably the only thing that's gonna appear on uh, Wikipedia. So the Miz did not take anything away from Zack Ryder. That's the catch. You're going to have to watch a series of events leading up to it. You right. Have to watch the shows. You're going to have to watch the pay-per-views. You like have to us, watch everything. You're going to have to be into wrestling, follow the history, uh, and be a realist. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's one thing, yeah, it's completely different. If you if you watch, the, like, honestly, if you have no life and you have to watch the whole thing, yeah, you're going to get the whole story. But no one's really going to do that. People are just going to like, oh, WrestleMania's around the corner. I'm going to watch all the WrestleManias. I'm going to watch the ones that I want to watch. That's the only thing that's going to matter, and that's the only thing people are going to watch. That's the only thing that people are going to care about. What happened at WrestleMania? And people are not, they're never going to take anything away from Zack Ryder. Nothing. That is his to take to the grave. You cannot take that away from him, no matter what. Yeah. If you want to understand what happens today, you got to go back in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to watch it all from the beginning. Take it, you know, to the grain of salt that it is. Okay. Okay. Right. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean that's that's what I thought. That's what I think about it. I mean that's like. Okay, that's kind of like Zack Ryder. Kind of reminds me of the of the uh, Chainsaw Charlie, Cactus Jack, New Age Outlaws dumpster match of fourteen. That was like I'm sorry. That was one one of my personal favorite WrestleMania moments. Okay, when like they push Billy Gunn and Road Dog off the uh, forklift in yeah. that dumpster in the back. They close the lid, and like. Cactus is like crawling. Terry Funk's crawling. Hey, Cactus, we got him, you son of a bitch. And they're celebrating. Everyone's going oh, ape shit because they did like the one thing that like no one thought that they could do. Yeah. And that was just like, just like so fun to watch. And like, yeah, if you're like a real wrestling historian, real wrestling historian, DX was uh, formed the next night. Yeah. And you know, and you know, the Cactus and, and Charlie were. Uh, at, at the hands of a public execution, yeah. honestly, but like, but no one's really going to remember that. They're going to remember when they go back and watch WrestleMania 14. They had their moments, and it was fantastic. Yeah, well, actually, I think Terry Funk made that moment. No one, when they, when they, when they actually won, and and Terry Funk is just flipping out. Oh mm. man, I love it, love it. So, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. So so, it being so what what other topics in uh, in uh, future episodes should we should we discuss? We want we want the fan. I I like this yeah. idea like a Friday before a pay per view. We you know just do the rundown who we who we think who we think's gonna win. But I mean we talked about. Talk doing an episode talking about wrestlers. We, we, we meeting met. wrestlers. Um, maybe just like even like wrestling show etiquette. Yeah. Cause I got some stories of what like you should and shouldn't do. Oh yeah, and I mean, boo Randy Orton. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. annoy the piss out of oh, the people God. around you. We, 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 we got a, we got a good couple. Oh yeah. Oh, that Raw we went to. Hey, hey, hey shut, shut up. up. 
<laughs> Lady, did you pay for my ticket? <laughs> did you go AWOL in this country? I don't think so. Oh, anyways... I think it's time for us to wrap up here. We had this was a phenomenal show, mm -hmm. to say the least. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a little time out. We're going to recharge our batteries. But if you want more New School Republic content, you can always check out. Oh, anytime, you guys. Hey, mm -hmm. if you want to check out our podcast, mm -hmm. you can always go to YouTube and search New School Republic Wrestling Podcast. And you can always you can check out our channel on YouTube. It's New School, New School Republic. You can check out our Facebook, New School Republic uh, Wrestling Podcast, and the New School, New School Republic. You can also go to uh, www.newschoolrepublic.com. Uh, you can check out all that fun stuff. You can expect Living with a Luchador in the fall, revamped, better than ever. It's going to be fantastic. Hey, it's fantastic. Hey, just to let you know, come check out our Periscope next time. Uh, it's New School, New School Republic. That's our Twitter handle, too. But just to let you know, uh, in about 10 minutes, we're going to take a time out. We're going to re regroup, and we're going to bring back City's Worst. A brand new yeah. City's Worst episode. <laughs> it is going to be fantastic. Uh, this is not one for the kiddies. Just, <laughs> just to let you know right off the bat. That's why it's called. Rated, baby. That's why it's called City's Worst. Um, and as soon as we get to find a woman, that we will eventually bring back New School Republic Radio. <laughs> City's Worst, bro. You have got to check this out. <laughs> it is just a a fun show. Um, I'm also trying to. I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag here. I'm going to try and bring back. Um, iTunes, okay. I've been I, I, for the longest time. I was like a big believer in uh, liberated syndication, okay. But that's only like taking us so far a month, you know. And we have a huge backlog of shows. What's the account for New School Republic on? Well, you uh, just on what form? Yeah, you just search New New School Republic, and you'll will will appear on just about anything. That is fantastic. Uh, but I'm trying to I'm trying to bring everything back on iTunes, and I think that Podbean may be our best solution here. It's unlimited uh, storage and like streaming and like bandwidth and all that. So I think that's kind of the thing we need right now. So hopefully I'm going to uh, bust my ass as much as I can on Sunday and post all our, all our backlog shows, which is a couple episodes of New School Republic Radio, a couple episodes of Cities Cities Worst. Um, your brother did that one, Two Idiots and a Dragon, the 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 uh, D and D themed uh, podcast. But um, hopefully, I get to be I get to be uh, debuting a podcast on my own. I'm working on one right now. But hey, we'll see. Um, but hey, guys, in like ten minutes, come check us out for uh, the brand new City's Worst. So I don't know where Phil went. Where was Phil? Phil went to the pisser. You know what? When we come back, this is gonna be a show you will not forget ever. All Woo! right, Brandon Petrie, this guy who was here, Phil <laughs> Snow Wagon, he's a pisser. We'll Chris right Schultz back is, after this. Chris Schultz over here, who hates Bailey. You know, he's yeah, just over I here. I, I don't know why. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, anywho, thanks for checking out New School Republic Wrestling Podcast. For those checking us out live on Periscope, check us out in 10 minutes. We're going to recharge our batteries, and we're going to bring back a whole new episode of City's Worst. Drink it, be glad it, goodbye.